Hello, in this video, we will be doing a simple line trace interaction system. In this overview, I have two random objects, I can interact with them. The sphere can change the time dilation when interacted with while the cube just acts as a print string. First thing we need to do is create a blueprint interface, go to the content browser, right click and under the blueprint category, it comes up with the interface. You can name it bi underscore interaction. It will up a graph. Just name the function interact. This will mean any interactable objects that uses this function can work with this line trace system. It's so I don't have to make multiple line traces and duplicate functions when I can just do this once and no need to use casting. Next, we need an actor class which will act as one of our interactable object. Name it whatever you want. I want this to be a cube. Once you open it up, you can add a static mesh. I will add a cube, then on the top, on the same bar as the compile button, there is a class settings button where you can add multiple interface buttons. Add the interaction interface that we made. Now, we have an interface category under functions. We can right click it and press implement function. Now we can do code for once we interact with this object, what happens? For me, once I interact with this object. I want it to print its name, we can do a print string. For the string, we can use a node called get display name which will name what it is called in the world. The object is self. Open up your player character, we will do the interact code. In the event graph, search for your key. I will use E to interact. You can also set up an input in the project settings, I advise you to do that if you are making a proper project. Next, we need a line trace by channel. We need to now make the line using the start and end location. Also for debug purposes, let's change the draw debug type to for duration. You can turn this off after it works. I think it is best if we use the follow camera. Drag it out and get world location. Connect this to the start. We then want to get the forward vector of our camera, then times this by a float. This will be the distance of our line. I will make this a float variable by right clicking and promoting to variable. Let's call it interaction distance and then set the value of it to 500 or 1000. We then do in vector and vector to add the start to the end distance. We can then connect this value to the end. Now what we want to do is from the return value, do a branch. This means the code will only run if the line hits something. The out hit holds data of the line. So we want to break this to get more information. We want to use the hit actor and use a does implement interface we can do a check for if this actor has our interact interface. It's like an is valid check. We then do a branch and on true, we get the hit actor and call our interact function. Now compile and save. In the world, drag out the cube and test the project. If it works, nice. If not, just comment below and I will help you. Now if you want in the character blueprint, you can try messing around with the line trace settings. It does sometimes feel jerky and that is because, this type of system usually works well for first person cameras. Let's test another example, let's create another actor, this will adjust the world's time dilation which means world speed rate. In here, we can add a sphere mesh. We can then go to class settings and add the interaction interface. Implement the function, and in here, let's add a flip flop. For the first, set global time dilation to 5, which means faster rate. And the B can go back to normal rate of 1. Let's now test the game, and we should have a working system, and you can make as many interactable objects as you want. Hope you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing joining the discord and see you next time.